Today's video is sponsored by Zengo, the crypto wallet for everyone. Welcome back everyone. Today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the photos I've taken lately. Talk about a bit about my life, general, you know, the way that my work's been influenced by other people's work. And just talking about how I'm trying to be more experimental, more sort of loose and free with my work. Firstly, uh, I want to talk about these photos here. Uh, they were taken with my X100V. They were taken at a sort of a momentous occasion in my life because it was taken at a triple birthday celebration and basically we all turned 30. It wasn't my birthday, my, my 30th was a few months before. The X100V was a perfect sort of companion to take along and uh, I mainly took it because it's so small, so compact, but also because of the flash. Um, and I think I got some really great shots. Um, I even let other people use it. You know, people who had never taken photos with a proper camera before, picked up the X100V, no problem. I didn't even explain it to them. They just took it and started taking photos, um, which just goes to show how user-friendly, how easy it is to use the X100V. Uh, one thing I did learn about the camera though, that or well, didn't really realize when I made my initial long-term review was that the flash recycle time is quite slow. That's something to bear in mind next time. Um, it takes about maybe one to two seconds, but other than that, it was so much fun. Everyone loved the camera. Um, you know, obviously as the night progressed, the conversation obviously turned to crypto and I don't know how it's happened, but I've somehow become the de facto crypto expert. Um, you know, a lot of you guys have also been asking me about crypto and asking me about NFTs. Long story short, one of my friends got scammed big time, um, lost a huge chunk of his savings because he wasn't looking after his crypto. Once Bitcoin went up, he ran away with his money. Yes, I feel terrible for him, but it is also a perfect segue to today's sponsor. So recently I got asked to review this crypto wallet. However, I've not been told what to say. These are all my honest, legitimate thoughts. And if there was anything I didn't like about it, then I can say. I think you and I are all at that age now where we need to be taking our finances seriously. And that's why I take investing very seriously. And that's why I talk about it on the channel quite a lot. Last time I checked, you guys are around the same age as me, 24 to 35. Yes, I checked my analytics. And honestly, you know, in 10 years from now, I wanna be able to afford at least a single roll of Porter 400. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything on this channel that I don't use myself. And after having used this app for around a week, I can safely say that this is by far the best crypto wallet that I've ever used. The app is super easy to use. It's like a, like a menu screen. Um, trust me, I've used other crypto wallets and those wallets are like trying to navigate a Sony menu screen. It's just a horrific, experience so why would anyone need a crypto wallet if you keep your money on an exchange like coinbase or kraken or binance basically you don't actually own your own crypto you don't own the keys to the wallet that belongs to the exchange you know if the exchange goes bust or it goes hacked then there's nothing you can do to recover your crypto on the other hand if you want to use a personal wallet then you have to look after your keys keys get lost, keys get hacked. Zengo has solved this because they've gone completely keyless. Everything works off of your face ID and your fingerprints. Keyless security means there are no keys to lose or steal. And look, I know that not everyone has spare cash to invest. I think most of us are still recovering from last year's Kodak price hike. If that's the case for you, but you still wanna get involved, Zengo will literally give you free Bitcoin for every friend that downloads and invests with Zengo. On top of that, you can earn 5% APY with your Bitcoin by staking it in the app. It literally takes two clicks and you're earning. 5% APY, like, that's impressive. Crypto is new for a lot of people, it's new to me still. I still run into problems all the time. And Zengo realized that and their support is top notch. 24 seven and with a single tap, you're talking to an actual human being and not a bot. I absolutely love the app. It's a one-stop shop. They make it super easy to do literally anything that you would ever want to do with crypto. You can buy, sell, receive any token. It's time to be smart with your finances, but at the same time, I don't want you to get scammed like my mate. Download the Zengo wallet and let's get back to the video.
So last night I went out on a little photo walk through Soho. I brought my X100V and my X-C3 with a 50 mil 1.4 SSC. Went about, started chasing the light and I realized that I feel like my eye is getting better. I don't know what it is, but lately I've been feeling that I have been improving, um, which, is, which is a nice feeling because at the beginning of this year, I was feeling really uninspired of being really frustrated with my images. Really weird because on the night I wasn't I didn't feel that inspired um, I didn't I wasn't too happy with the shots it was really weird when I got home and opened up my laptop I, I found that my images had way more potential than I had initially uh, realized you know lately I've decided to go a lot moodier with my images and sort of embrace the fact that not everything needs to be well exposed one of the things I used to think was that everything needs to be exposed. I need to see all the detail in the shadow. I need to see all the detail in the highlights. Essentially, I've learned that that's really not the case. You know, a lot of you guys know that um, I take great inspiration from Josh K. Jackson. And if you look at his images, a lot of the stuff, you know, most of the, half the images in the dark, you know, same with Sean Tucker, most of his images, like, most of it's just black. Most of it's just complete darkness. And I sort of took that to heart when I was, editing this set you know what does the light actually hit because that is the most important part and just embracing and just letting things fall off into complete darkness one of the images this one in particular and i don't want to get too gushy and so sentimental but for me it felt like a milestone image an image that for me cemented to myself at least that my work is progressing that i am getting better as a photographer because to me, this image here, I got really strong Caravaggio, Caravaggio vibes. It's okay to give yourself a pat on the back from time to time, just as it is important to criticize yourself and, be, and, you know, and to sort of be self-critical. And in keeping with sort of, you know, being a bit bolder with my edit, being a bit, you know, freer with my images. I decided to sort of break away from my preset. Not break away from my preset, but like manipulate the preset a bit further. Whilst I said in my last video, my color palette is mainly red and yellow. I decided with some of the edits to sort of introduce blues and greens into the mid-tones and into the shadows. Because one of the things I started to find was that if every single photo had the same color palette, um, well, it just gets a bit monotonous after a while, doesn't it? Because I found that the red and yellow color palette doesn't necessarily work that well with the color temperature um, you know, of the light that was captured in the photo. The other day I did an IG Live with Alex on Streets and it was really fun. And I wanna do more of that. Maybe you guys can get involved. I don't know, I just wanna get more involved and do more sort of um, more casual, more in-depth um, discussions though. Let me know in the comments down below when the last time you had an aha moment, when you, when you took an image and you edited it and you thought to yourself, damn, I really like that. Follow me at Zone Reza Photo on Instagram. Subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And with all that said and done, boys and girls, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.